Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing various colors from the brand Color Place right out of the can to see if they will work for pillow paints or base paints for the bloom technique. First, I'm going to create a control test piece with onyx black and antique white because I know that those two work for sure. I'm testing all the paints pure. I'm not adding JC 800 this time because I already have seen that, you know, it falls apart with it in it. It still crazes. So I want to see everything, how it performs pure. I also made my trusted carbon black atelier and Australian Floetrol cell activator to see if it was also the cell activator. So I'm gonna be testing all this on one piece and I'm gonna do half black, half white. And, oh, it's a lot. And I am su suspecting that maybe it is the chemistry of the paints, that it's not the same as the black and white. The colored ones maybe have something different or lack something. Maybe it's opacity, maybe it's a chemical, I don't know. But uh, as an idea, maybe I can play with adding some of the antique white to the rest of the paints and see if that adds, you know, some stability to it. But I don't know. I'll, I'll play with that too at some point. We're waiting for the paint to come back towards the middle. I don't know if it's like elastic enough for that too, you know. It seems to be working fine. And the wet results are always stunning. It's until after they dry when you realize you have an issue. Okay, my memory was full again on the phone. I should probably test this with thinner consistency of the pigments to see if maybe the difference between the drying times of the base paint and the pigments has something to do with the cracking and crazing.
Okay, let's look at the dry results. So this was the, the control piece and it's dry, it's not resin of varnish obviously um, and it looks great. Um, this is the color place antique white and this is the color place um, onyx black, right? So um, a little trick just as a side note if you want to see what this is going to look like First of all, make sure this is really dry though and it's cured, right? Um, before you do what I'm going to show you. So if you want to see just what it's going to look like, you can get a little bit of distilled water, you know, and just spray it or mist it lightly. You know, give it like a little rub just to kind of imitate varnish, so to speak. You know, and then it's better with the naked eye. You can't really capture it well on camera, but it gives you a slight idea because sometimes they look like they get completely lost in the one of the colors, but then when you put water, you can see them, you know, that they are there. Okay, the next is. We tested color place blue gray sky and color place silver. So this turned out also very, very nice. Now, what I'm going to say about these, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I used the paints, the base paints pure. I did not put any GAC 800 in it. Um, but I noticed that these two. I have to stretch the design a little bit more and leave a very thin coat in order for it not to craze. But if I add a little bit of GAC 800 um, and I started with maybe like 10%, maybe I need to use even less, it actually loses its elasticity that a pillow paint needs and it doesn't come back as well. So it's a little tricky and honestly for these light colors <clears throat> you can just tint the white with you know whatever paint you want so you know I don't I don't think they're worth buying right out of the can for this um, but yeah they they turned out pretty pretty nice both of them so yeah this is the blue gray sky and this little you can see here is um, the silver background okay the next one we tested was I put burgundy on one end and I put the winter mauve mauve I can't pronounce this I have no idea um, on this side so this also turned out pretty nice, but the red looks like it had some issues. See, oh, this is crazing and cracking. Um, so it seems the interaction between the base paint and the cell activator is not all that flattering with the burgundy, but the light pinkish one or the winter mauve um, actually held its own so it turned out very pretty yeah let's see this is this is quite although this can be fixed you know you can just paint it it's it's okay because it's like if you had a slash across which is like the actual crazing and cracking then that would be hard to repair but since this is where the cell activator naturally goes it's not really an issue at all this can just be painted over um, and fixed this is just fine and then the last one was the color place in navy blue and um, 
I tested, as you remember, on all of them I tested two cell activators just to see if it's a cell activator. And this is the black one, this is the brown one, they both did the same. So it's definitely the base paint, okay? So this one is not working. And as you can tell, look at this crazy, this, this cannot be fixed. I mean, okay, let's put it this way. It is highly subjective. It, you know, there are people who will argue that this adds character to the painting. Uh, some will look at it as a flaw. Um, with me, it's, you know, it's a toss up because like if, as I said, if it's something like this, then yes, it's, it's fine for me. But this here, honestly, is just a disaster. <laughs> All right, and luckily this is a test piece and this is why we do those. So, um, yep. And uh, right after I finished doing these tests, I came up with the idea to see if I can combine the silver one, you know, like in the middle, and then put the blue one just on the outside. So the blue one would rest only on the silver paint. Um, and I did it with pure paints as well. And it turned out gorgeous. I'm giving it another day or two to dry, but I am starting to see some cracking and crazing already. I don't know how bad it's going to be, um, but you know, we will, we will see. So that's it for today. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. Stay creative and I will see you next time.